This was the scene at 7 o'clock this morning outside University Hall as UVA students waited for seats and a chance to be part of their school's history. And this is the scene inside University Hall, packed for the final regular season ACC game. But it's far more than that. It is the final home game in the brilliant career of Ralph Sampson as Maryland meets Virginia. Today marks the end of an era in Charlottesville with Ralph Sampson's last home game. With the two-time National Player of the Year in the lineup, the Cavaliers are 49-2 at home in four seasons. And overall, they've won 107 games in that period, the best record in the nation. Sampson's name is scattered throughout the school and conference record books. But what the numbers don't reflect are his leadership, his determination, and the character that allowed him to turn down multi-million dollar offers to stay in school. The numbers and the intangibles that combine to make Ralph Sampson the finest player in the game today. Maryland, of course, did not come to Charlottesville to be part of UVA's celebration. Center Ben Coleman, the club's leading rebounder and second leading scorer, will be out to stop Sampson and company, and he'll have a lot of help from his teammates. It's a day for the fans to say goodbye to Ralph Sampson as he leaves this locker room for the final time in a brilliant college career. It's Maryland against Virginia from Charlottesville. Maryland in black with a gold trim. Virginia in white, trimmed in orange. We are set to go. Ralph Sampson will step in against Mark Fothergill. Fothergill, a 6'9 junior from Somerset, Kentucky. Sampson, of course, the big man, the 7'4 senior from Harrisonburg. Virginia with the basketball. That is Doug Newberg. Ophel Wilson low to Sampson. Right now, Fothergill on him, and Sampson misses his first shot, and Fothergill with a rebound. You might expect these guys to be wound a little tight here at the start. Ralph Sampson usually gets up very well on his jump shot, but I think he was two feet off the ground when he released that basketball. Fothergill to Adkins. Len Bias being guarded man to man by Sampson. He has the ball inside right now. Fothergill, three-point range, and missed the shot. Newberg with a rebound to Wilson. Cavaliers want to run. Wilson puts it up with the right hand, missed the shot, but he draws the foul. Virginia looking to push the ball up the floor, and of course, Othell Wilson is their floor leader. He came up, head up all the time, looking for his teammates, reverse dribble, changed direction, went in, made contact, missed the shot, but he'll go to the free throw line. Jeff Atkins draws the personal, his first. Wilson goes to the free throw line. It's a 75% plus shooter, and it's an excellent free throw shooting team all the way around for the Cavaliers. They shoot over 72% as a team. Very few weaknesses on the Virginia team, and in a tension-filled game, sometimes two free throws are the easiest thing to get the team going, get some points on the board. Here's the full court pressure, and Maryland beats it as Virginia leads 2 to nothing. Bias, who has been hot the last few ball games, Len Bias ties it up. Fine young ball player for Lefty Grizzell. Bias, 6'8", a freshman from Landover. He's going to be around a long time. And I think ACC fans should remember that name because I think he's going to be an outstanding player in the conference. Newberg starting as a senior today. Sampson. And Father Gill is going man to man on defense against them right now with very little help, Jeff. Maryland did a good job that time, though. He was about 14 feet from the basket, a little out of his range for the jump hook, but that one went right in. Branch and Adkins, one of the biggest backcourts around at 6'5 and 6'8. Ben Coleman, Tobias just inside the three-point line, and Sampson rips it out of the air. Newberg in the middle of a break. He'll go all the way. Missed the layup. Robinson missed two follows, but he drew the foul. Smart play on Doug Newberg's part. They left him with the opening, and he took it. Doug Newberg has not played a great deal, obviously, this season. Getting an opportunity, not in top shape, went right down the middle, laid the ball up a little hard, a little disappointed in himself. And here is Ralph Sampson's first two. He usually takes the step on that hook shot, but that time he just jumped off two feet. Nice move. No question about it, Ralph Sampson is sky high today. I don't care if you're seven feet, four inches tall with uh, arms that long. A jump hook from 13 feet is not an easy shot. It is not an easy shot. He laid that up with a great deal of confidence. 
foul was a call against Coleman, his first, the team's second. And Robinson goes to the free throw line, a chance to build Virginia's lead. This is also his final appearance in Charlottesville. And I'm sure, uh, you know, with all the uh, all the hoopla surrounding Ralph Sampson, Craig Robinson might feel just a little lost. Yes, he does. And I can't help but notice Lefty Grizzell getting up off the bench when Craig Robinson missed, gave a fist in the air. He's trying to draw the crowd's attention to him away from what's going on the floor and give his team some support. One out of two for Robinson. It's 5-2, Virginia over Maryland. Maryland has done very well all year long beating full court pressure. Rarely turn it over on those occasions, and they do well this time. Atkins. Father Gill. Sampson on defense is not leaving that lane area. Nice inside move by Branch. It wouldn't go. And here comes Ralph on the dribble. Leading the break gets it to Mullen. Mullen's a great shooter. He was right on the edge of the three-point line, but I believe they counted it as a two-pointer. I didn't see the two arms go up from any official. Must have been just inside it. It's 7-2. to two. Virginia by five, early going. Coleman leans in. Sampson blocked it. That will be goaltended. Ralph got there a little late. I like the, the deliberateness that Coleman does inside. He gets the ball, he takes his time, never goes up out of control. Ball was way up that time, but Ralph got a hand on it, goaltending. Seven to four, Maryland cuts the lead to three. Mike Patrick along with Jeff Mullins. We have 17 minutes, 32 seconds to go first half. I think Craig Robinson's been hit in the mouth. He's bleeding. The, train, the official was calling for the trainer, but Craig said, uh-uh, I'm not going out today. This is it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Sometimes when they set you on the bench, someone in, someone else comes in, plays very well, and you don't get back that quickly. He's having none of it. Newberg to Sampson. Father Gill right now giving him man-to-man -man coverage. Othell Wilson got inside Atkins. Classic Othell Wilson move, always under control, used the screen, got open momentarily for the little 16-foot jump shot. 9-4 for Virginia, Bias. Coleman again, this time blocked by Sampson, and for the second straight time, they will call it goaltending. That, that was, one was close. That was much closer. That time, Coleman on the jump hook. You'll see it. It's not far out of his hand, but it was yes, coming it was. down. Good call by the official. It's tough to block a shot when you're that close, and you. one of the officials comes up and talks to Sampson and Father Gell and tells him to cut down on the pushing and shoving. Sampson three. Branch and Coleman comes outside, but Robinson's guarding him, and he penetrates on him. Atkins, three-pointer, good for Jeff Atkins. Maryland being very patient on offense. They don't want to get in a run and shoot with the University of Virginia. They want to take their time. Foul called inside. Father Gill fighting for position, and Lefty Drizel has yet to sit down this afternoon. Father Gill and Sampson going at it inside. They call Father Gill for an elbow. Non-shooting foul. Othell Wilson will trigger it in for the Cavaliers. They'll get it into Newberg, who has played the first three and a half minutes of this ball game. Fakes the give and go, and Sampson will shoot. Father Gill with a rebound. Father Gill's an outstanding defensive player and a good rebound. Father Gill weighs about 235 pounds. He's using his body. Ralph, that time, couldn't get in close to the basket. Had to shoot the, a little longer than he wanted to. Branch. Great one-on-one -on -one player to Father Gill. This is Atkins against Newberg, and Newberg committed the personal foul. We have a timeout on the court. 15.52 to go first half. Virginia 12, Maryland 9. We'll be back right after this. Mike, you, we've seen Ralph, he's obviously sky high, and he's been called for goaltending twice already. And real basketball fans will remember last year in the national finals, Patrick Ewing called for goaltending the first five times, I believe, North right. Carolina. But that's the adrenaline flowing. Uh, they make the move before they really think about it. Obviously, Ralph's ready to play today. And Ralph is normally not guilty of goaltending that often. Adrian Branch with the ball for Maryland to Atkins against Newburgh. Branch with Othell Wilson on him. Big height advantage for Branch, but he had it blocked by Robinson, and Robinson gets the rebound. 
Newberg, the bounce pass ahead to Wilson. Baseline shot, won't go. Coleman with a rebound. Had it knocked out of his hands out of bounds to Maryland. Well, Maryland has survived the opening bit of emotion here the first couple of minutes, and they're hanging in. Well, and they're being very deliberate. They don't want to run and shoot. They're bringing the ball up, very patient on offense. They have not turned it over, and they've gotten some good looks at the basket. Coleman, low to Bias. Little turnaround jumper by Len Bias, and he has his fourth point. It's 12-11. And a good pass by Coleman. That time, Bias took... Mullen inside, posting him up. He got a good shot at the basket and made it. Sampson, the running hook. It goes, and he's fouled. Talk about a difficult shot. Left-handed hook shot. We've seen him use it more recently. He was about 13 feet from the basket. He makes the move here, lays it on the floor once. Great inside move. He's fouled. Chance for a three-point play. Well, they call a foul on Fothergill. Mark may have gotten a bad rap on that one. No, he did lean in a little. Little contact. Ralph rolling to the left. Boy, if he develops that shot as good as the right hand, he's very difficult. Lefty Grizzell has to be very concerned because he has Mark Fothergill guarding Ralph Sampson. He does not have Herman Veal, who is not with the team today in uniform because of an administrative matter, we're told. So his depth up front is a little bit short. What happens if Father Gill gets in any more defensive trouble? Do you go to Coleman against him? Well, I think they'd put Coleman. They're trying to keep him out of foul trouble. And let's not forget, they can move Branch up to forward if they need to. Coleman, turnaround jumper after some contact, followed by Adkins. No good. Bias had the ball knocked away. Adkins follows again. Sampson got the rebound and flattened Lynn Bias with an elbow. Lefty Brazil is really hot, and Ralph will pick up a personal that time. And that was a good call, too. Absolutely. Referee right in the right spot. Ralph just got mad. Maryland had gotten two straight offensive rebounds. On that last one, he wanted it. His temper flared. Called for the foul. Terry Holland up talking to his uh, to one of the officials in front of him. What he's doing is, I think, trying to protect Ralph so it doesn't go any farther than the one personal foul. A lot of emotion on the floor. Terry Holland knows it. The officials know it. Adrian Branch for three, and it's 15-14. You don't think this is going to be a war for the next 35 minutes? They go into Sampson, a whistle before the shot. And let's see, another foul on Father Gill. It would be three if it is. There we see Terry Holland off the bench, and Lefty still in. That's too easy when Ralph gets the ball that close to the basket. You can see the contact inside. Maryland would prefer to have somebody else in front of Ralph, not letting him get that shot. That is the third foul on Mark Fothergill, and I think that was an effort by the officials to make sure there is as little contact as possible because that wasn't much of a foul. Here's Craig Robinson leaning into one and got the roll. Craig Robinson, his third point, and it's 17 to 14, Virginia by three. And Craig Robinson has really improved his outside shooting since he's been here in Virginia. Jeff Adkins wheeling to the bucket over Sampson, but Sampson's presence made him miss it all together. Robinson beats down the court. Good hustle by Craig Robinson, and it's 19-14, Virginia. And that fast break basket was a result of a bad shot by Atkins at the other end of the floor. He made a bad drive, threw the shot over Sampson. Virginia got the fast break. Lefty Drizel wants a timeout to talk it over. 13.57 to go first half. It's Virginia 19, Maryland 14. The last time Maryland Virginia met, fans will remember, was the time Ralph Sampson really blew his top, called for the technical. The game had gotten so physical, he lost his temper. Mark Fothergill playing with three personal fouls for Maryland. He's been guarding Sampson man to man most of the day. He is still in the ball game, has the ball right now. Rick Carlisle has checked in for Virginia. That is Coleman jump hook won't go. Bias tried for the rebound. Robinson got it. Ahead to Othell Wilson. Jimmy Miller in the ball game. Robinson looks low for Sampson. To Miller. Maryland trying to double team Sampson a little bit more. Miller with a driving right hand shot. He scores. A lot of contact underneath and no whistle. Nice move by Miller, 6'9 forward, laid the ball on the floor twice, took it all the way to the hoop, made a nice shot. 21-14, Virginia with a seven-point margin. Bias, Branch, Cavaliers have been in the zone since they opened. Yes, they have. It's an interesting matchup inside. They've got Craig Robinson guarding Coleman. 
We would think that Ralph Sampson might, but Virginia did not decide to do that. As the shot clock wound down to five, Adrian Branch followed by Othell Wilson. That's his first, the third team foul against the Cavaliers. You had mentioned, Mike, this game is being called very close. Good experience for both teams because that's the way they call championship play. Very close. Referees know they can't afford to let the game get out of hand when the players are so intense. Lenny Bias. Nice move by Len Bias, who is just getting better and better and better. He has six points early here, and it's 21-16. Wilson, nice penetrating move to Miller. Nice fake. Carlisle with a baseline drive, gets it to Wilson. And Wilson scores. It is really getting physical right now. A lot of bumping on every pass, every screen, every dribble. Maryland almost stole that pass by Carlisle, but Othell Wilson runs right in the right spot, made a tough shot inside. Branch. On the far side of the floor, we can get a look at Coleman and Craig Robinson. Coleman a little bigger, a little stronger. Nice move by Branch, but it won't drop. Sampson's outlet is swiped by Atkins. Atkins goes right down the lane, tries to go over Sampson, and he puts it in the cheap seats. Nothing Atkins could do that time. He went right at Ralph. He tried to float it up high enough so the official would call goaltending. Referee said no dice. Good block. Let us take a look at it. Here's the steal. Steal by Atkins going right down the center. He had a teammate on his left, but watch Ralph didn't commit himself to the last moment and then swatted it out of bounds. He waits very well. Ricky Stokes has checked into the ball game for Virginia. So Terry Holland goes to his bench with three substitutes in the last 45 seconds of play. Baxter is in for Maryland. This lefty Grizzell counters in the backcourt. And Baxter really gives this team the added dimension of quickness. I really like Baxter as your ball handling guard. He's a good defender, well coached ball player, even though he's only a freshman, runs the offense very well. 6'1 freshman, good shooter. Really quick. That's Branch. Bias against Sampson. Out to Baxter. Ralph is just rejecting everything in sight. If he gets within five feet of the hoop, it's gone. Give credit to Bias, though. He's not afraid to go in there. He took it right to the basket. Just a great block. Branch, three-point effort, no good. There's Fothergill with a rebound and drew the foul. Nice play by Fothergill. Didn't expect to make the bucket, just wanted the foul. And he showed a lot of poise that time. Came down with the rebound, knew Sampson was on his right. Shot by Branch, almost goes in. Watch Fothergill, good position. Watch him fake, he knows Sampson's there. He shows the ball, gets two players up in the air. That's smart basketball. Two shots, guys. Foul called on Kenton Edelin, and here's another block by Sampson. Bias went right in there, jumped by one Virginia player, but Ralph surprised him. Fothergill, who's a good free throw shooter, misses the first, and it's 23-16, Virginia by seven. Fothergill hits the second. 23-17, and now here Coleman and Sampson squaring off. Coleman was called for the foul, but he's the one that looks upset. Again, the contact inside early is brutal. Boy, it is. And Ralph Sampson saying something to Cole, but I wouldn't want either one of those guys mad at me. Now, the officials trying not to let it get out of hand. It has been very physical since it started. 23-17. Stokes, that's Carlisle. So Virginia going with a new backcourt combination. Miller, after a pump fake, threw it up a little strong, and Baxter with a loose ball. Not a good shot by Miller that time. Bias in perfect defensive position. Baxter and Stokes, there's a good matchup. Branch. Fothergill, nice move to get around Sampson, but then dumps it off to Bias. Shot clock is down at 10 seconds. Fothergill will shoot over Sampson this time, and rim it. Outlet pass to Carlisle. As Sampson on his right doesn't get him the ball, and Baxter will be called for the foul. We've seen Rick Carlisle put the, a new repertoire in this game. He likes to bring the ball up the floor, change direction, and take it all the way to the basket. He tried to do it that time.
time ball is fouled. Sampson will get a breather, and Craig Robinson comes back into the ball game. I'm sure Terry Holland wants to talk to Ralph and say, we need you, big guy. We can't afford uh, some elbow incidents out there right now. I've been kind of amazed reading the Virginia stat sheet. Terry Holland's done a great job of keeping Ralph fresh. Ralph only averages about 30 minutes a game. A great player like that usually plays 38, 37 minutes a game. 23-17, Virginia by six. And Terry Holland won his 280th game of his major college career the other night. Today going for 281. Carlisle, second in the conference in free throw shooting. He's a good one, but in and out on that one. Whistle, we got a lane violation. Called against Ken, Ken, Kenton Eagle, and either a lane violation or a foul. Now they're calling for the foul. Official Hank Nichols that time called. That's two inside position foul on the missed free throw. The referee's really trying to call it close early. Again, we'll emphasize the fact, a lot of emotion on the court today. They want to keep control of this game. And that's the second quick foul on the junior from Alexandria. Maryland again beats the pressure. They're down by six. This is Baxter. So many times this year we've seen Virginia. There's Grant from the corner. Adrian with a cold hand early. Miller with a rebound. Good outlet to Stokes. Edelin, and he walked. Megan Robinson called for the travel. So many times this season, we've seen Virginia just wear a team down. They go up four, five, six, and all of a sudden it's 15. But Maryland has kept their poise. They're not letting this game get out of hand. Every time they get the ball, they're taking their time getting it up the floor, using some clock. Ed Farmer has come in for Maryland. And now Mark Fothergill was trying to get into the ball game, and they wouldn't let him in. He won't be able to get into the next dead ball situation, I guess. Not really sure what that one was all about. Adkins and Baxter will work in the backcourt. Still a lot of pushing and shoving underneath. Maryland has 6'8 freshman Ed Farmer in the ball game. He's number 20 on your picture. Shot clock is down to nine. Here's the steal. Stokes ahead of the field. Quick or anything, Ricky Stokes gets gotta, a pair. You gotta protect the basketball whenever he's around. He can ignite the Virginia offense with his steal. 25-17. Baxter. That's Ed Farmer. Baxter goes low this time for Coleman, who's been quiet lately. Coleman gets up with the shot, has it blocked, and we have a foul. The way the crowd is cheering, it's offensive on Ben Coleman. That's three offensive or three fouls on Coleman. Again, Ricky Stokes being the pest that he can be around the basketball draws the charge. I think it's only two on Coleman. Lefty trying to pump his team back up as they've fallen behind 25-17. Fothergill has three fouls, and here comes Sampson back into the ballgame for the Cavaliers. Maryland stays in a man-to-man -man defense, it looks like. Although I'm sure Sampson will get more than his share of, of coverage. Branch is on, or rather, uh, Ed Farmer is on him right now, and here's a foul away from the ball. You can see the purpose to the officiating. Contact inside, Ricky Stokes through the charge, but the official said two shots. Flagrant foul. I'll tell you what, if they called uh, fouls on all the contact we've had so far, there wouldn't be a player left on the court. And Lefty Grizzell is questioning the intentional foul call. And you know, there's not a coach in America that wouldn't want to have a player like Ricky Stokes on their team. He's come in, got a steal in the basket, threw two offensive fouls, go to the, goes to the free throw line for two free throws now. Maryland's already been hit with nine team fouls in the first 11 minutes and four seconds of the ball game. Three points for Stokes, he'll try to make it four, and Virginia could have a 10-point lead if he connects. Another good free throw shooter. Missed that one, but Jimmy Miller! Raced down the lane and scored on the follow. 28-17, now that's some play on a missed free throw. Big play, that's the kind of thing that shouldn't happen. Everybody should have lockout responsibilities. Just a great effort by Miller. Adkins. Farmer with a turnaround. Nice roll from Ed Farmer on the soft shot. And here is a foul on Adrian Branch in the backcourt. 
That is the 10th team foul against Maryland. Tough inside move by Farmer. I think he surprised Ralph Sampson. He got the ball with Ralph on him, turned around and shot. The audacity to do that. But on the rebound effort, Bias was called for the foul. Look how high Farmer got up on that shot. It bounces around. Bias was called for the elbow. You can see it on the replay. I think it's Miller going to the line, although Carlisle is there trying to get the free throw. Now they'll give the foul to Bias instead of Branch. Branch was questioning the call to the official. And Jim Miller will go to the free throw line. I would try to get uh, Carlisle to the free throw line, too. He hits almost 84%. <laughs> of course, Jim Miller is not too tacky from the charity stripe, almost 75% on this season. Miller averaging just shy of 10 points a ball game. Hits the first. And it's 29-19, the spread back to 10. And here comes Othell Wilson back into the ball game for Virginia. Rick Carlisle will get a breather. Five points so far for Miller. Jimmy Miller, very seldom a starter for Virginia, but whatever success they have in postseason play, I'm sure he's going to have a major impact. He's a fine player. Farmer checks back in for Maryland, and Ben Coleman will sit down. Fothergill already uh, had been on the bench with three personals. He is back in the ball game. Coleman had two. Maryland against the press. Atkins. Bias. Zone has been effective so far. Virginia, look at Ralph Sampson coming all the way out on Fothergill. To six, and we almost got a souvenir. Not a good pass from Father Gill. Ralph Sampson coming out to challenge the center position on the Maryland team. Miller looks low for Sampson. Ralph working in the lane, got the ball, and that's going to be an offensive foul as he leaned in to mark Father Gill and decked him. A little surprise. I was kind of stunned at that move. Ralph wasn't even cute. He just turned, lowered his shoulder, and ran over Father Gill. Obviously an offensive foul. Timeout with the score of Virginia 30, Maryland 19. This is the Raycom Jefferson Production Sports Network. 30 to 19, Sampson picks up his second. Father Gill already playing with three. It has been very tough. Coleman officially now has three personal fouls, so he and Father Gill both in trouble for Maryland. And those are the two men who would have the responsibility most of the day of guarding Ralph Sampson. Officials have done an excellent job of trying to control the emotions and trying to control the contact in this game. You know, in a big game like this, they get just as high as the players. They know there's not a lot on the line, and they're excited and sharp. Virginia has been in the zone defense since the ball game began. Bias over Sampson. The tip is good by Farmer. Farmer can really get up. Two baskets in a row for Farmer. He's given his team a lift. He has four, and it's 30 to 21. Here's Sampson under double team, missed the shot, and the rebound to Bias. Two excellent young forwards for Maryland, Bias and Farmer. That time Ralph shot, there were four Maryland players within two feet. Everybody around them, the shot almost went. Adkins, three-point range, way short. Bias with the rebound, loose ball picked up by Wilson. Wilson travels out to Maryland. Good effort by Bias that time, trying to get the ball back. He caused the travel call on Othell Wilson. See Lefty Grizzell really working hard in this one. He hasn't been on the bench much of the ball game. Tim Mullen will come back in for the Cavaliers, and Stokes will come out. Stokes, as you said, comes in for three, four minutes and really gives the club a lift. Big asset for this team. Nearing the seven-minute mark in the first half, 30 to 21. Virginia by nine over Maryland. They got the ball low to Coleman, who scores inside. Got away from Robinson, and Coleman has six. It's 30-23. Sampson. Bad pass picked off by Atkins. Three on two break. And Atkins will pull it back out. Branch three-pointer. Adrian Branch way off first half, but hustles into the corner for the rebound and saves it to Atkins. Coleman, tough inside, won't go, and Sampson. Great outlet to Othell Wilson, who recovered. Passes in the middle, Farmer with a steal, back outside, ball all over the
the place. Here comes Bias. Good smart play there by Lenny Bias just to hold it up and let everyone get settled. Particularly since Ralph Sampson was the only player back for Virginia. It you would noticed. have been Bias and Sampson. Very smart play. He may have also noticed that. Here's a whistle away from the ball and another foul. And they're looking at Coleman. What's the call? The call is on Coleman. That is number four on Ben Coleman in the first 13 minutes, 51 seconds of the ball game. And Coleman is going to have to sit down and Lefty Grizzell is not happy at all. That's the kind of foul that really disappoints you because Coleman was setting a pick away from the ball. He was called for moving contact on the screen and that's a critical foul call against Merrill. Coleman glances at the scoreboard where he sees his fourth personal foul up there beside his number. And this little comeback by Maryland was caused by them getting the ball inside. Coleman, Farmer, very active inside. Still contact on the free throw line every time the ball goes up. Boy, Robinson, Bias, and Farmer just banging chests and shoulders. And the referee now trying to talk to a couple of the players. This has been brutal so far. What's that? Miller will have another chance at a free throw. He's hit his first three today, and it's 31-23. Miller with seven points. Now make it eight. Good start for Jimmy Miller, who only averages 9.4. There, Rick Carlisle checks back in for the Cavaliers. He'll work in the backcourt with Othell Wilson. Farmer. Outside to Adkins, almost threw it away. 32-23, the margin is nine. And Maryland now does not have a man in the middle who can score, Jeff. No, they don't. They're going to have to go more with the perimeter shot. Tough thing to do against Virginia. And here is a foul away from the ball as Mullen was moving Farmer out of position underneath. Here's the benefit for Virginia. They are deeper, I feel, than Maryland, especially since Maryland is missing Herman Veal. When you miss a key player like Veal, it really hurts your depth. When everybody's healthy and everybody on the floor, I think Maryland has as much depth as anybody, but missing Veal today definitely hurts. Farmer with a free throw. Farmer's had injury problems all year long. 6'8", a freshman from Wilson, North Carolina. Only averages a little over two points a game, but Lefty Grizzell said he could turn out to be the best ball player he has. Free throw again, good by Farmer, who has six points today. And as the young man plays a little bit more, he shows more and more of his skill. 32-25. Really amazing that Maryland's within seven, even with all the foul trouble they've had. They're playing very well, not turning the ball over, getting some good looks at the basket, good defense inside. Carlisle draws the foul. Carlisle on his initial move was a little fortunate because he went up in the air to draw the foul. Nobody fouled him, and he was just stuck there. Maryland has done a good scouting job on Carlisle. As we've seen in the last couple of weeks, he likes to duck under the defense, draw the shot, use the backboard. Maryland playing that very well, and they forced him to pass off. They almost got a steal that time. Carlisle will go to the free throw line. Excellent shooter, 83.8 on the year. Missed that one. He has missed his two opportunities today from the free throw line, uncharacteristic. 528 left, first half. Maryland down by seven. The Terrapins have the basketball, trying to get their 20th win of the season, which I would think would guarantee them an NCAA berth. They will finish third in the conference. Farmer, who has the hot hand with a turnaround jumper, that's a tough shot. It was a tough shot, and Maryland still trying to get the ball inside, and Farmer doing an excellent job, and all of a sudden, Ralph Sampson's been kind of quiet, offensively and defensively. 32-27. Virginia's going to finish second in the standings no matter what happens to the ACC. Alley up to Robinson, missed the shot. Wilson with a follow. Got it. Odell Wilson among the trees got the follow. And he makes it look so easy. That time he went up, changed hands, laid it up with the left hand, it bounced around and went in. Father Gill to Brandt, side saddle, three-pointer. He loves to shoot that angle. You know, Adrian Branch is a true scorer. He can miss it very badly, and then he can come back and really hurt you. Robinson missed the shot. Here's the ball tipped away, and the foul is going to be on Farmer because he reached out and slapped at it that way. Kept the ball alive, but is called for the personal, the 12th team foul against Maryland, and it's number two against Farmer. Greg Robinson opened a little bit out of his range that time. Shot it, it was short, but he stayed after it, got the rebound. You can see the contact from Farmer. 
Robinson goes to the free throw line. He's averaging 8.3 points a ball game. Has quietly gotten better during his college career. And this is his final appearance in Charlottesville. You hit it right. He has really grown as a player. You know, Craig Robinson has been the guy for three years that everybody said, let's make Craig beat us outside. He, they, they, he's the guy they left open during the Lamp and the Raker days when they had good outside shooters. He has really responded over the years. 35-30, Robinson gives his club a five-point lead. Ralph Sampson has not scored in quite a while. And here are two players dropping into the lane, and Carlisle actually fell in face first. And it's going to be a lane violation, and Maryland is going to get the basketball. Have to laugh on that one. Not only is it physical, but it's cute. Carlisle leaning in. He tried to keep his feet behind the line, but the official called him for stepping into the lane. Terry Holland is saying, hey, look, they did it too. They were in there. I guess the way they're going to rule that is Carlisle was the first one to hit the floor. Both of these coaches not afraid to stand up for their team, particularly Lefty. He knows they're alone among 10,000 people. They need all his support. 35-30, Virginia by five. This is Brandt. Looking for Farmer down low, who's done so well lately. Farmer couldn't get the ball. He's being guarded by Jimmy Miller. Atkins under pressure from Carlisle. This is Farmer. Missed that shot. Tip follow no good. Here is Father Gale. He scored his foul. Maryland is really hanging in there. And they're still going inside. Farmer, Bias, Father Gale trying to get position. Good shot by Farmer. It wouldn't drop. Watch the Maryland players keep the ball alive. Finally, Father Gill comes down with it, goes back up strong. The contact, the basket, big play. Father Gill hits the free throw. A three-point play for Mark Father Gill. He has four, and it's 35-33. The Cavaliers' lead is down to two. Robinson got such good position underneath. Shot was a little short. The rebound came straight down. Robinson was there to get it. Branch through the lane. These guys really have some firepower. Not many players will shoot that shot, and very few can make it, but he certainly can. Othell Wilson misses inside. Farmer with a rebound, and Maryland with a chance to tie. They're down by two, 37-35. Very impressed with the freshman Farmer. He has come in and done a job for the Maryland Terrapins. Adkins to Branch. Branch wants the shot. Wouldn't go for him. Farmer almost committed the foul inside. Here's Carlisle on the run for the Cavaliers. Wilson gets it to Miller. Merrifield and Merrifield from the baseline. The sophomore from Linwood, New Jersey has a pair. And the league's back to four. Good passing that time. Maryland, uh, Virginia swung the ball around, finding the open man. Merrifield hit the shot. Maryland's made a couple of runs at Virginia. They get close, and then the Cavaliers open it up again. Almost a five-second count against Adkins. But he gets it to Branch, and Branch, for lack of anyone to pass it to, was just a three-player and hit it. You can see him shake his head. You can see he is a streak shooter. He's hit three out of his last four. When he gets hot, he's got 11 points. He wants the basketball. 39-38, Virginia by one. We have 224 left, 11 points for Adrian Branch on the ball game. He almost single-handedly beat the Cavaliers last year in College Park, the final meeting of the two teams. Ralph Sampson still on the bench. Merrifield inside, good position. Nice pass from Craig Robinson. Beautiful pass from Robinson, who saw Merrifield get the position. Merrifield's a horse. He's listed as 6'6", 220. He's got to weigh more than 220. He looks a lot like Pannone, the great player he from does. Villanova. Same type of body. He gets good position. Not afraid to shoot the outside shot either. He looks like his shoulders weigh 220. <laughs> Go to the free throw line for a couple. That is the third foul on Farmer and Maryland getting in terrible foul difficulty up front. Coleman already on the bench with four. Father Gill on the bench with three, and that's the third against Farmer. And as you see, Ralph Sampson is on the bench. Maryland did a good job of quieting Ralph while he was on the floor, keeping the ball away from him. He got off to a good start. Now, of course, he's on the bench. Merrifield hits another free throw. It's Virginia 41, Maryland 38. We'll be back in Charlottesville after this word from Natural Light. There's Ralph Sampson on the bench. He's been there quite a bit in the first half. Is it, do you feel, Jeff, because of the two personal fouls? Possibly. I think maybe Terry wants to calm him down a little bit. He has eight points, six rebounds, three blocks, two goaltends, and, of course, two turnovers. 
but I think Virginia should have them out here at least for these last two minutes because Maryland has made the move since Sampson's been on the bench. Maryland with a three-point play right here could tie it. Fothergill playing with three fouls is in. Branch can tie it, and he does. Adrian Branch with 14 points, and he can carry you when he shoots that one. He's left-handed. He loves to go to his right to shoot. They set a double pick at the top of the key. He came around for the three-pointer. This is Merrifield. He, Stokes, Othell Wilson, Robinson, and Miller on the court right now. Maryland in a 1-2-2. Two, two. Merrifield open again. What a job he's done for his team. Merrifield got away from Len Bias, who gambled and lost. Merrifield has six, and it's 43-41. Virginia by two. Adkins signaling the play. Looking low for Farmer, who had the hot hand a couple of minutes ago. Missed that shot. Battle underneath. Wilson on the run. Miller. Two points for Jimmy Miller. Shows how versatile he is. He can take the ball inside. We've seen him drive to the basket. That time he pulled up for the 18-footer, and it went. The Cavaliers pass so well on the fast break. Father Gill with a rare shot, and he makes it. He's a good shooter. Good standing shooter. Got great rotation on the ball, and that time he was wide open. He can bury it. Half a dozen for Father Gill. It's back to two. Here is Miller again inside. Missed the shot, and Branch with a rebound. Branch, a guard at 6'8", has played forward before and can rebound. He talks to Lefty Grizzell. Lefty says one shot will take the last shot of the half. We're down to 16 seconds. Let's see who takes it. Wouldn't want to bet against Branch, and he has the ball with seven seconds. Double team to Adkins. He can shoot it, too, and got it. A three-pointer for Jeff Adkins, and Virginia cannot get off a decent shot before the buzzer sounds. So Maryland taking a lot of starch out of the farewell to Ralph Sampson. At half, it's 46-45. Maryland will be back after this. Jim Miller, the leading scorer so far for Virginia. Three Cavaliers have eight points. Adrian Branch, the only man in double figures for Maryland. He has 14. And the Terps lead it at halftime, 46 to 45. We'll be back with the start of our second half in Charlottesville right after this. Situation for Maryland here in the second half. All of their inside people uh, in foul trouble. If you had not joined us at the start of the game, Herman Field. A tough forward is not dressed for the Terps uh, because of an administrative matter. That's all we're told about it. So that hurts Maryland's depth, and now they have so many guys in foul trouble. It's, it's going to be a long 20 minutes, I think. Well, he, Lefty would sure like to shorten the game if he could because fouls are critical. Maryland only four turnovers the first half. And remember, Virginia was pressing much of the time, so they did an excellent job of protecting the basketball. Hey, hey. Sampson from the corner. Robinson fighting for the rebound. He's got it. Double team had the ball knocked away. Here's the steal. Branch comes down with it. And Maryland will have a chance to build on a 46-45 lead. It was very intense at the start. Let's see what it's like inside pushing and shoving as we open the second half. And here is a foul away from the ball. Or somebody slipped or something on the court. Uh, Ralph Sampson stopped play. Something was thrown on the floor. The official called blew his whistle. Ralph picked it up and threw it off the floor. Virginia opening in a man-to-man -man defense. Ralph Sampson guarding Mark Fothergill. Shot clock did not recycle. It's set at 11 seconds. This is Bias. Lenny Bias puts Maryland up 48-45. And the fans want to get back in this ball game, and they want their team back in the lead. No question that Maryland is trying to get the ball inside, doing a lot of shooting from the free throw line area. Mullen, Wilson. Wilson and Carlisle with the guard. This is Mullen, three-pointer. Doesn't get it. Carlisle tried to get the offensive board, but it was blocked off well by the land bias. And here come the deliberate Terrapins who have done a good job at working their offense. Branch may have stepped out of bounds. Got the baseline. That time you could tell from three-quarter court that Adrian Branch, great camera work, couldn't tell from that angle whether he stepped on the line, but the official was right in the right spot, made the call. Maybe if he can't tell from that angle, he didn't step on the line. 
because that's the best angle there is. Samson hustling inside, had the foul, missed the shot. Through the foul, however. Boy, if he gets position, it is over. He went right over his teammate Robinson. Craig Robinson doing a great job on the boards, but Ralph said, hey, I want this one. He grabbed it. Branch called for the foul. Good foul. Going to make him work for the two points on the free throw line. Ralph Sampson has become an excellent free throw shooter as his season percentage up to almost 73% and hits that one. Well, the other day against Wake Forest, he had an uncharacteristic bad day at the free throw line. Well, he had a streak where he really wasn't shooting with a good rhythm, but it looks like he's going back to that. Not bad right now, and it's 48-47. Maryland's lead cut to one, and here comes Virginia's pressure again. The Terps have been able to handle the Cavaliers' pressure well most of the day. Coleman is not in the game for Maryland. He's on the bench with four fouls. Picked him up in a short span of time in the first half. Father Gill playing with three. Farmer playing with three. This is Bias. Father Gill fakes the three-pointer against Sampson. Jump hook in the lane. Mark Father Gill. He got Ralph off his feet a little bit with the outside fake. Then made a nice move to the basket. Mullins pass inside was swatted away. They knock it away again as they tried to force it into Sampson. This is ahead to Branch who will lay it in. Good lead pass. Adrian Branch had to really chase it down. Almost missed the layup, but it dropped. And it's 52-47, Maryland by five. You see the Terps in the zone. Jeff, I think they're forced to go to that because of the foul trouble. And certainly Maryland, with their good play, has taken the crowd, this home crowd, right out of the game early. Mullins three-point effort, in and out. Rebound to Farmer. They are getting one shot, except for the one occasion where Sampson got the offensive board. Maryland doing a good job on the board, and Virginia needs somebody to hit the outside shot and loosen the middle up so Ralph can do his thing inside. Farmer, Sampson to Carlisle. Wilson. Mullen again from three-point range. Missed it again, the rebound to Fothergill. If it doesn't go, they get one shot, and that's it. Maryland again, using some time, taking their time, bringing the ball all the way out to half court. Lefties off the bench, one finger up, calling the play. Seem to have taken some of the steam out of the Cavaliers. This is Fothergill, and a bad pass as Fothergill tried to hit Ronnie Bias. Bias says, hey, let's go, no problem. There's Lefty Durzell, who's got to be happy about his ball club. They're up by five at 52 to 47. And they've done a good job. They've done an excellent job. That time, Father Gill and Bias miscommunicated. He threw the pass to the wrong side. Here's the guy that really helped Virginia the first half, Jimmy Miller, back in the game. Terry Holland goes to his bench. Miller for Mullen in the hope that Miller can ignite some offense because the Cavaliers haven't had much in the second half. They're down by five. The cheerleaders just got up and tried to get this crowd going, and they need that. Samson, that is Virginia's first field goal of the half in three minutes and 39 seconds of play. And Ralph hadn't scored in about nine minutes except at the free throw line, his first field goal. 52-49, Maryland by three. Branch, three-pointer over a screen, and he got it. Adrian Branch with another bomb. And it's 55-49, 19 points for Branch. Branch cool as a cucumber. There's Ralph Sampson all the way from the corner. Makes an effort to go after it. Keeps the ball alive. Off Maryland gets another chance. And we have a timeout. Virginia wants to talk about it. 15-50 left to go in the ball game. Our score, Maryland 55, Virginia 49. We'll be back in Charlottesville after this. There's Ralph Sampson's family. Watching the ball game, there's his dad standing up to watch the ball game, and he would like to see his son get a couple of quick jams here and ignite this crowd. Of course, it's the one thing Maryland has been able to do is to keep Sampson away from the bucket. Since they've gone to his own, he's playing the perimeter most of the time. There he is in the lane, missed the shot, but there is a foul, and it looks like it's going to be on Adrian Branch, who reached in and slapped him on the arm. Virginia making an effort this time to get this half, to get the ball into Samson. That time he ran all the way from the corner, busted into the lane, didn't hold the ball very long, went straight up for the shot and was fouled. Samson will have a pair. Hit all three attempts from the charity stripe so far today, making four for four. 
He has 13 points. Remember, his career high against Maryland is 17. In and out that time, almost tipped in by Fothergill of Maryland. It is 55-50. Adkins. Branch is being guarded by Othell Wilson, the other guard. That's been a tough combination. This is Farmer. Quick turnaround shot, had his own rebound. Tried to follow when he walked. Farmer bending over, holding his eye. Not a good shot, that first jump hook, but he stayed after it. What was called traveling on the second effort. Farmer was hit in the face. Jeff Adkins comes out and says, hey, you got to stop the ball game. The kid got whacked. And Lefty Grizzell came out on the court to take a look at his player when I don't think they were going to stop the clock. Did you notice the concern on Lefty's face? Like, my goodness, you got hit so hard, and he made sure the official saw it, too. There's Terry Holland going back to his bench. Been a tough day for him so far. And this will be the first time today Adrian Branch will go up to the front position playing forward. Rivers and Atkins will be the guard for Maryland. Steve Rivers, another very quick guard in the lineup for Maryland. He's a junior from Uniondale, New York. This is Carlisle to Sampson. Sampson, the second time, has been able to hit that bucket from the middle of the zone. Very unique. Again, he started in the corner and busted into the lane area, and Virginia's looking to get him the ball in there. That's Adrian Branch to Father Gill working on Sampson. Not to Atkins. They want to get the ball to Branch, who already has 19, being guarded by Miller. He really almost single-handedly beat the Cavaliers last year. And look how far out the Maryland's running their offense all of a sudden, but there's Rivers, a good shooter from the outside. Great three-point shooter. Steve Rivers, who hits more than half of those long-range attempts, makes it 58-52. Sampson won't get it this time, and Rivers with a long rebound. Sampson with all the points for Virginia this second half. That was an awesome move. The shot just wouldn't drop. Watch out for Rivers, and here's going to be a reach-in foul on Carlisle as he goes into Atkins. Watch out for number 14, Steve Rivers. Early in the, earlier in the year, he came off the bench. Hit 29 points against North Carolina State. Farmer will check back into the ballgame, and Rivers will come out and sit down beside Lefty Grizzell. You can bet after he hit that one three-pointer, he'll be back. Boy, Lefty had his hand out, patting the seat, and said, you sit right here, son. I like what you did. That's right. 58-52, 14-15 on a turning clock from Charlottesville. Turnaround jumper by it. Sampson with a rebound. For Wilson, Farmer went down again. Carlisle inside, three-point range, and Rick Carlisle has his first two points of the ball game. And that'll make Maryland come out and play defense if they can hit a few of those outside shots. 58-54, Adkins with Carlisle on it. I'll repeat again, look how far Maryland has the ball away from the basket. Virginia's really forcing them out. Good intensity on defense. Branch loses the basketball. Branch maybe got a little out of control. Othell Wilson helped him a little bit. And Lefty Grizzell says, I've seen enough right now. I want a timeout. We'll talk about it. Here's Branch going the way he likes to go to his right. Othell Wilson, good position. Branch loses the basketball. No question their intensity has increased. Timeout with 13.41 to go. The score, Maryland 58, Virginia 54. We'll be back after this word from Bush. And we look on the, on the pairings, we see if Virginia and Maryland win the first round, we may have a repeat of today's action. Well, if it's a repeat of this one, it'll be a beauty. Robinson to Carlisle. Virginia with the ball, Maryland now in a 1-3-1 one, one zone. Ralph, you can see way out in the corner, that time they make the lob over Ralph Sampson to Odell Wilson. He makes a nice pass to Miller. Banks in the jump hook, it's 58-56, and here comes the full court pressure. Adkins to Branch. Not a great ball handling backcourt, but they get it done. And once they get in the shooting area, they can really get it done. And Adkins, you got to give him credit. He has really improved his ball handling skill. Here's Farmer in the lane. Missed the shot. Rebound to Robinson. This is Wilson to Miller. He scored and he's fouled. That's again with a great outlet pass. Odell Wilson with the ball. Nice pass to Miller. Look at the outlet pass. All the way past half court. Two on one break. Atkins was back. Should have fouled a little harder, not let him get the basket. Instead, Miller has a chance.
Adkins for the three-point play. Second foul called on Adkins, and Lefty Brazel is getting himself into a position where he is in trouble inside. He may send Ben Coleman back into the ball game. He's got Coleman up and talking to him. Virginia with Miller hitting a three-point play, giving him 15 points, has retaken the lead at 59-58. The Cavaliers really have the momentum now. No question about the momentum, and look at how difficult it is for Maryland to bring the ball up the floor. Great steal by Sampson. He's under the basket, but Carlisle takes the jumper. Missed the shot. Sampson may have gotten away with a foul there, and then pushes Branch. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, now give it to Virginia. You see Ralph Sampson stay after that? Carlisle did not score the first half. Very unusual. He'd been in double figures the last three games. He missed the jumper, but Ralph tried to get the rebound. The Cavaliers really have it going right now. Miller will inbound to Othell Wilson. Sampson. This is the first lead for Virginia in the second half. Wilson. Not a good shot. This is Rivers who's checked back in. This kid is quick. He can beat any press. Ahead to Adkins. Adkins will bring it back outside to set it up. Coleman is back in the ball game for Maryland. He has four fouls. They get it low to Coleman against Robinson. Right off the bench, and he puts in two. That's two substitutes left. He's put in the game. Rivers gets a three-point play, and Atkins, I mean Coleman doing what he does so well. But there's Carlisle coming alive for Virginia. Cavaliers retake the lead at 61-60 with 11 minutes and 51 seconds to play. Atkins with Carlisle on him. Some excellent one-on-one -on -one players and great outside shooters in the ballgame right now. They try to go low. Atkins threw the ball after Coleman had turned his back. And here comes Virginia. Wilson. Banked it in. What a shot by Othell Wilson. Sampson and Edelin up front. Miller. Shot won't go. Farmer kept it up in the air. Bias with a rebound. He's double team. Fans wanted a whistle for an elbow. This is Coleman to Rivers into the lane. Oh, what a play by Rivers. And nice pass excellent. by Cole. Great pass by Coleman. The big guy had it close to the basket, but he saw his open teammate. Great love to Sampson, but he was fouled on the shot. Sampson fouled on the way up, but who are they going to call it on? It may be on Ben Coleman. And that is a tough break for Maryland, even though Coleman didn't get to play a lot of the first half because of foul problem. He has to be a little frustrated. You know he was psyched up to play against Ralph today. He's been having such a fine season for Maryland. Sad to see him go to the bench. Lefty gives him a smile, shakes his hand. And it's 63-62, Virginia by one. Sampson will go back to the free throw line. Jeff, in contrast to the first half, when he was on the bench so much, he's played every minute of the second half. Well, this is nitty-gritty time. Not only has he played every minute, but Virginia has made a determined effort to get the ball into him in the lane area. Ralph Sampson only one point shy of his all-time career high against Maryland. He has 16 points. His team leads by two, 64-62. Rivers pass Wilson to Fothergill. Maryland's been very patient on offense. Branch, Rivers, Father Gill again. Shot clock down, down to eight seconds. Branch trying to work one on one. Three pointer, he got it. And Maryland is back on top. Adrian Branch with 22 points. Othell Wilson did everything perfect. Hand in his face, jumped up, tried to bother him. Branch buried it. 65 64, Maryland. Othell Wilson. 
to Stokes. Low to Miller all alone, and Miller will score inside. Somehow he found a seam in that zone. Yes, he did, and what a lift he's given the Virginia team today, having one of his finest games. 66, 50, 66, 65, rather Virginia by one, and Farmer all the way to the hoop and scores. Got to be impressed with the way Farmer turns. He went right at Sampson that time. In respect to Farmer, Ralph didn't even try to block the shot. Farmer's an excellent leaper. Stokes, nice quick move into the lane, and Ricky Stokes can't get the shot to fall. The follow by England is all good, and Maryland will come out with the ball. This is Branch. The Terps over the Cavaliers by one, 67 to 66. Sampson, very slow coming down court. Maryland playing five on four right now. Fothergill tries to drive, and he's fouled. That was one thing you want a team to recognize, the fact that Ralph Sampson is still at the other end of the court and get it inside. Maryland was a little slow getting the ball to Father Gill because Ralph was all the way at the other end. When they finally did, Ricky Stokes came over to help and was committed the foul. Robinson comes back in and Sampson will go out of the ball game, maybe limping slightly. Here's the contact under the board. You'll see Ralph got a shoulder, not intentional, just hard effort inside. Farmer finally gets a shot blocked. Farmer was blocked by England, and then Rivers is fouled by O'Fell Wilson. This has been as intense a game as I've seen all your walls. And the inside play, I'm telling you, the ball isn't coming down where you or I could touch it. <laughs> well, certainly where I couldn't touch it. <laughs> Ken Needland, not been a factor in the game, didn't get to play the first half, but he'll get his hands on a lot of ball. Tied three times, the lead has changed eight times. I'm sure that statistic will have to be updated before we're done here in Charlottesville this afternoon. 8.48 to go in the ballgame. Maryland by one over Virginia. Great pass to Bias, and Bias missed the shot. Miller, a lot of people swinging elbows here this afternoon. Well, they're all trying to protect the basketball. There's been so much contact. Bias got a good look at the basket. He won't miss that very often, but it wouldn't go. Wilson to Stokes to Miller, who is free again on that side of the zone. And Jim Miller, you'd think he might be the last guy you'd leave alone. He has 19. I'll tell you, that player's going to come along. And Ralph Sampson's departure, he's going to be a fine ACC performer. Virginia regains the lead at 68 to 67. Branch over a screen. Three pointer, didn't get it. Wilson with a long rebound. Here comes Virginia. Should have dropped back. Virginia ended up with a three on one break. Odell Wilson ran it perfectly. Virginia by three. Branch to Rivers. Straight outside shooter, and he got it. It's tied at 70. Steve Rivers has hit two bombs on two tries. He has eight points, and we're tied again. Fans might not be familiar with Rivers. That's not luck. He's an excellent outside shooter. Foul called inside against Maryland on Ed Farmer. I think it's on Farmer. That would be four on Farmer. It's his fourth. Coleman has already fired out. Maryland may be running out of fouls to give. Timeout with 7.30 left in the game. It's tied at 70. We'll be back after this. 16 fouls. Miller has 21. Right now, Miller sitting on the bench. Terry Holland will give him a breather. And in case for people who didn't know it, uh, Lefty Grizzell with Terry Holland as one of his former assistant coaches, one of the many coaches who's gone on to a tremendous success. Yes, and also Terry played for Lefty. There's that left-handed hook again by Ralph Sampson off the out-of-bounds play. Sampson with the left-hand hook gives Virginia the lead. Sampson with 18, the most points he has ever scored against Maryland. That statistic still is a little hard for me to grasp. They have done an excellent defensive job on him throughout his career. Branch and Rivers at the guard. This is Branch, and he is fouled as Stokes reached in. And Branch comes up limping a little. Good strategy by Virginia. They've got Kent Edelin guarding Branch. Edelin, big guy, long arms, going to try and bother him on a shot. But Branch went to the basket that time, used his superior quickness. Branch will go to the free throw line. One of the few times Maryland has shot today, the Terps have been four or five. Big disparity in the free throws. Virginia has 17 of 23. Fouls pretty close in the second half, but Maryland already has so many people in foul trouble. Branch, just a scoring machine when he has it going. Misses that time from the line. Branch with 20.
22 points so far. Here comes Pete Holbert into the ball game to replace Len Bias. Holbert, 6'6", 190 from Fairfax, Virginia. Another tremendous perimeter shooter. He's a pure shooter, but we have to wonder today, would he play if Herman Veal were available? But of course, for administrative reasons, Lefty did not let him dress today. Branch with the second free throw attempt, hits this to March and cut the one. 72-71, the Cavaliers by one over the Terrapins. Looking for Sampson in the middle of that zone. Now he goes to the corner again, and Carlisle left all alone to shoot, and he buried it. 74-71, the margin three. Here comes the pressure. Branch, Edelin waiting for him. Jeff mentioned a much bigger man than Branch is normally used to having guard him in the backcourt. This is the kind of situation where sometimes Adrian Branch takes the challenge too much, tries to go too much one-on-one. -on -one. He needs to be patient. He can score on anybody, but don't force him. Great pointer is short. Farmer tried to get the rebound. Stokes comes out with it. Stokes will hold up and wait for help. Carlisle. And here's a whistle and a foul underneath, and Kenton Edelin will be called for a push underneath. I think he came over the back of Farmer. Ken Edlin, the kind of reserve that comes in and just stirs things up. Ricky Stokes does it at the guard position. Edlin always has a hand around the ball. That time trying to get the rebound, he went over the back. That is number four on Edlin. He is the only Cavalier in any kind of foul trouble. Maryland already has Coleman on the bench with five. And three other players in a lot of trouble. 74-71, Virginia by three. The shot clock will go off in about another minute and a half. And whoever has the lead at that time will have something of an advantage. Father Gill looking for help. This is Rivers. Edlin doing a good job of overplaying Branch, not letting him get the ball back. Father Gill from three. It won't go. The rebound went to Edlin. Maryland down by three. The Cavaliers have the ball. 5.46 left. Robinson blocked by Farmer, but a foul. Greg Robinson all alone under the basket, waving his arms. Finally, Carlisle saw him through the pass. He was fouled. Long pass. Somebody on Maryland made a mistake. This is Farmer's fifth foul. Farmer will foul out of the ball game. He'll join Ben Coleman on the bench. And without Herman Veal, Maryland is uh, running out of bodies inside. Funny watching Craig Robinson. He was so open, he was afraid to yell for fear somebody on Maryland's team might see him. Ed Farmer fouls out of the ball game. Fine young freshman from Wilson, North Carolina. Lefty Drizel has a lot of hope for him. He had a big game and it really in Maryland's postseason hopes. He could certainly be a factor because he showed a lot of skill today. Robinson will go to the free throw line trying to extend the Cavaliers lead from 74-71, trying to get it up there a little bit. Almost a 70% shooter on the year. First free throw in and out, no good. Two out of four for Craig Robinson, the big senior from Montclair, New Jersey, playing his final game here in front of the home crowd. Terry Holland using his bench very effectively again, playing nine players. Everyone's pretty fresh. They tend to wear you down, and they're getting stronger and stronger as the game goes on. 75-71, Virginia by four over Maryland. Adkins is back in the ball game. Branch into the lane, and he's fouled. The crowd didn't like it, but it looked like it was a pretty good call as Jim Miller. Yeah, Branch had a lean to the basket, went between two Virginia players. Miller really didn't move, but he got a shoulder. You'll see the contact right there, leg, shoulder. Good call by the official. Threw his chest in there pretty good. 75-71. Non-shooting foul, though, because Virginia has not committed enough fouls to be in the bonus situation. Terry Holland calling out a defense to his team. Either that or he, he wants a time. He wants to stop it. With all the strange signals different coaches have, you, you never know. Two fingers with a hand on top may be a defense. This time it was a timeout. 5.30 to go in the ball game. Virginia by four. This is the Raycom Jefferson Production Sports Network. There you see the uh, foul trouble. Two players already out for the Terrapins. 
When you look at the fouls, your immediate reaction would be, hey, Maryland seems to, it seems unfair. But Maryland, you knew, was going to be more physical today. They're going to have to play a real tough game inside. Not unusual at all. Bias had his shot partially blocked, and Virginia has the basketball. With 5-10 left, the Cavaliers by four. A bucket here would be a really big one. Sampson. Ah! before the ball gets there, you know it's going in the hole, 77-74. This is the last possession where the shot clock will be a factor. You can see lefty on the side, both hands up in the air. He wants good hands on this zone, waving arms, trying to get passing, in passing lane. Carlisle stripped the second half, and got the ball back and put it in the hole. 79-74, here comes Branch, quickly down court to Bias. He'll go in and challenge, and it's blocked by Sampson, out of bounds to Maryland. Samson just loitered under the basket and dared Bias to go up. This young man's not used to getting his shots blocked. He doesn't care who's there, but Ralph says, uh-huh, watch this. Here is Branch, followed by Carlisle, and then they give each other a little elbow on the way out of bounds. On the out of bounds play, players are always fighting for positions to start the play. That time, they were a little pushing and shoving. Carlisle called for the foul. Branch will go to the free throw line. 26 points this afternoon for Adrian Branch. High is 29. Free throw good by Branch. The margin is four, 79 to 75. Close enough so that I don't think Virginia will try an all-out spot. And he has been hot on the three-pointers today. Free throw, good again by Branch. 28 points for Adrian Branch. He loves to play against Virginia, it seems, and it's 79-76, the margin is three. The shot clock is off with 3.48 to go in the ball game. You've got to take your hat off to Maryland. They knew they had a challenge here today in Charlottesville. They came in, I think surprised some people who played very well. Here's a foul. Virginia many times this year, and this is a new play. Again, they work the ball all the way to the corner to Sampson. He shoots into the lane, catches the pass on the move, more of a guard move, but only because Sampson's such a good athlete does that play work. Sampson at the line, five out of seven for the strike today. His team with a three-point lead. Missed the first. These are big shots now. Fouls on Branch, his third. Lefty Drizel up on his bench laughing. Lefty's having a great time today. He's trying to hex Ralph on the free throws. Making moves like a helicopter and then laughing. It's 80-76. I saw Lefty talking to Ralph and smiling one time. Kind of a friendly conversation. Of course, he tried to recruit Ralph Sampson when he was a great high school player. Branch fakes the three-pointer. Rivers also an excellent three-point shot is in the ball game. Branch, this is Rivers. He's hit three out of three from that range, and it is 80 to 79, although the scoreboard right now shows 80 to 78. And Maryland has called a timeout. We'll check it when we get back. This is the Raycom Jefferson Production Sports Network, your network for the ACC Basketball Tournament. Sampson has 13 in the second half alone for Virginia. Miller with eight, Carlisle, or Miller with 11, and Carlisle with eight. It is a one-point ball game. Virginia with the basketball. Maryland back in a 2-3 zone, dropping way back. Virginia will be in no hurry, although they are obviously looking for a good shot. 
Samson will take one, maybe not. The best shot selection Terry Holland would have wanted. And Maryland has the ball and a chance to regain the lead. Little surprise they put it up that quick, Jeff. I'm, I'm surprised they didn't try and pull Maryland out of the 2-3 zone. Make them play man-to-man -man against the Virginia team. And Virginia is in a man-to-man. -man. Let's see if they clear a side for Branch or Rivers. Maryland in their delay game now. Maybe they're saying, hey, we'll take the last shot. On the road, sometimes coaches think on the road it might be wise to do that. Although Branch went to the basket that time with determination. I think what they're playing for right now is trying to sneak somebody in there for a layup. Carlisle gives Atkins a lot of problems when he's on a dribble. And if we can see, Ralph Sampson is not guarding anybody. He's going to protect that basket and not let Maryland get a layup. I think Ralph is saying, you can play this little game all you want. I'm camping right here. Maryland. Shot, the clock is down to 151. Maryland down by one. It's 80 to 79. Maryland has three guards on the court. Atkins, Branch, Rivers. This is Branch, guarded by Miller. We're down to a minute 35. How long can Maryland afford to do this without going strong to the bucket? Well, I think maybe on the road they're saying, we'll take the last shot. we got confidence in our players. We'll do that. Remember at the half, they gave it to Branch. He drove in, punched it out to Atkins. They got the three-point basket. I don't think they're going to get a layup against Virginia with Sampson. I don't think Ralph is going to give them the layup. Atkins lost the ball to Rivers, and Rivers put it in. And they finally got Sampson to move out when he tried to put the pressure on. We were just saying we didn't think they'd get him a layup, but Virginia was coming out to gamble a little bit. Now Maryland's back in the 2-3 zone. Which shows how much we know about strategy, doesn't it? <laughs> 81 for Maryland, 80 for Virginia. 49 seconds left to go in the ball game, and now we've got contact underneath again. And it looked like Fothergill trying to hold Sampson. So they'll hit Mark Fothergill with the foul. A defensive strategy, and Mark Fothergill did the right thing, is not to let the offensive player go where he wants to go, particularly a Ralph Sampson. Fothergill got in his way, tried to block his path, was called for the foul. Number four on Fothergill, and the problem is it sends Ralph Sampson to the free throw line where he can put his ball club back on top. He has hit six of nine today. Missed the front half of the one and one. Maryland has the ball and the lead with 43 seconds left in this game. What an amazing finale to the regular season. ACC basketball at its best. Rivers on the dribble, gives it to Branch and Branch is fouled by Carlisle. I think a good move by Virginia. They foul with plenty of time left, 33 seconds on the clock, so that even if Maryland does hit both, they still have time to come down. Branch has hit. Three of four today, and Terry Holland would like him to think about it a little bit. 33 seconds left in Ralph Sampson's last game in Charlottesville. It's Maryland, 81, Virginia, 80, back after this. Virginia sends Sampson back out with Robinson, Miller, Carlisle and Wilson. Maryland will go with Baxter, Adkins, and Branch, essentially three guards, Father Gill and Len Bias. This is Branch. Front half of the one and one. Big shots and he missed it. Gets the ball back. Then Branch double teamed and it's stolen by Wilson. Othell Wilson will set it up. 24 seconds left. Maryland by one. This is Carlisle. They're looking low for Sampson. Wilson, 17 seconds left. Holy cow. Maryland two, still in the 2-3. Othell Wilson, tough shot. Ralph Sampson. Shot is blocked. Oh, boy. Seven seconds left. And Ralph Sampson in his final game will go to the free throw line with a two-shot foul. Can't explain the effort. Not a great shot. Look at Samson coming all the way from the other corner. Gets the basketball. Nobody's going to get this back. Takes the big step to the basket. It's blocked, but he'll have two free throws. Timeout called by Virginia. Mark Fothergill committed the personal. That is his fifth. That means Maryland has lost Fothergill, Coleman, and Ed Farmer to fouls. They did not have Herman Beal coming in. 
So four of their top five frontline players are gone. Yes, and what a great play by Fothergill. Very few people it was. block a shot of Ralph Sampson. He made a great effort, and he's making them, and he's saying, hey, that's too easy for you. You go to the free throw line if you want to win this ball game for your team. Now Terry Holland telling his ball club what happens in case Sampson misses the first, makes the first, misses the second, makes both, or what? You know, that's the toughest time for the coach because you hate to sit there talking to a player and says, if Ralph misses these right. two, you want to say, Ralph, don't worry, you're going to go, but you got to plan for everything, and that's the great thing about college basketball. 81-80, Maryland over Virginia. It has been a delightful ball game since the beginning. A lot of contact, a lot of tremendous individual and team play. Seven seconds left to go in the ball game. Maryland has hit six of ten three-point shots in the second half. We're mainly talking about Steve Rivers and Adrian Branch that has kept the Terps in this. Seven seconds left. A lot of alternatives. Seven left. Maryland 81, Virginia 80. Let's see who Terry Holland has sent out. Wilson and Stokes. He's got his quickest backcourt combination. Robinson, Sampson, and Miller. And now... There's another timeout. Virginia has taken it. Two straight for the Cavaliers. Terry Holland wants to continue to discuss what is going to be his strategy down the stretch. Once again, let's recap what has been Maryland's problem in this ball game as far as foul trouble. Herman Veal, in what the school is calling an administrative matter, did not dress today. He is with the club. Great rebounder coming in, averaging seven rebounds a ball game. Did not dress today, so Maryland is hurting up front. Father Gill, Coleman, and Ed Farmer have fouled out. And when we go back in, as you see Lefty Grizzell and his staff talking to the ball club, Ralph Sampson will go to the free throw line for the front end of a one and one. Sampson with a career high against Maryland, 21 points. He has hit six of 10 today. He could tie it and then put his team in the lead if he makes both. Two free throws, this is not a one and one. And he misses the first. So that the best Virginia is going to come out of this with, with seven seconds left, is a tie. And then it's up to Maryland to decide its strategy. Ralph Sampson, the premier player in the world, with a free throw, and he missed it. In and out, tipped outside, Sampson has it, and he's That is simply hard to believe. Ralph Sampson missed two free throws. The ball kicks outside. Who gets the rebound? Ralph Sampson, and he scored. And now the Maryland bench is very upset. Watch the clock if it stays on. Robinson kept it alive. Sampson, he'll score with four seconds left, actually with five. You saw the outside official signal a timeout. There were four seconds left on the clock. It worked down to two, and now they are resetting it, presumably to put the four seconds back on the clock. There is Ralph Sampson. As you saw the end of the replay, you could see the official nearest the near sideline signaling a timeout just as the clock hit four. Let's see what they bring it down to. It should be four seconds. It had worked its way down to two. Man, what a ball game. What a ball game. It is 82-81, Virginia over Maryland. And you see Virginia mapping their strategy, what kind of defense Terry Holland wants his club to come out on. They've knocked it down to three seconds on the clock. And if you saw on the replay, it had just gotten down to four and they'll take another tick off of it to three. Jeff, three seconds is enough time to get a shot, but do they have to go the full length of the court? Well, of course, they'd like to get as close to the basket as they could. They'll try and make the pass as far up. Virginia will be putting pressure on. Amazing. I guess it's only fitting that Ralph Sampson on Ralph Sampson Day would get the last shot. It drops. Now let's see what the University of Maryland can answer with. Maryland with three seconds left. I'm sure Lefty Grizzell and his staff were arguing for an extra tick of the clock to get it up to four. Might make a difference right now. It is 82 to 81. Virginia by a point with three seconds left. 
As it stands right now, Ralph Sampson has hit the game winner in this ball game after missing three straight crucial free throws. Atkins will inbound with Robinson on him. Maryland has no timeouts left. They've got to get it in. Grant with it. One tick went off the clock. There are two seconds left. Virginia will inbound the ball right in front of us. We're back. We're getting ready for live action. Miller trying to toss it in. There is a foul before they throw it in. Against Maryland, it will be a two-shot foul, and what they did there was manage to allow no time to run off the clock. Bell Wilson will go to the free throw line where he is two for two. Mr. Mullins, I'm about out of voice. How about you? Well, when we get down to this point, Mike, we have to remember the three-point basket. If Maryland is going to get a shot off, they're probably going to get a three-pointer. And, of course, Othell Wilson just missed the first free, free throw. Virginia by one. He could make it a two-point lead with this shot and does. And with two seconds left... Maryland is using the dead ball situation to send Chuck Grizzell into the ball game. The coach's son, an outstanding long-range shooter. Here's the length of the court pass. Adrian Branch will put it up at the buzzer. And he hits. No whistle, no foul. And Virginia will celebrate the final game of Ralph Sampson's home college career with an 83 to 81 victory over Maryland. And if they have ever earned a victory, they did it today over a Maryland team that hung in there, even without four of its frontline people, one out of the ball game for an administrative reason, three other players who fouled out. They did a great job, and it looks like these two teams are more than ready for the Atlantic Coast Conference Tournament that is going to start Friday at the Omni in Atlanta. Virginia 83, Maryland 81. Go to Jeff Mullins and Ralph Sampson. I have with me a very happy young man, Ralph Sampson. University of Maryland, it seems to be always tough for you guys. Well, they play a physical game and they try to take people out of their game. And we just wanted to try to play our game and stay with it. In Charlottesville, they're calling today Ralph Sampson Day. It's only fitting. You had the two free throws. They didn't go, but you stayed after it. Well, I, I had two earlier, and I missed those. And uh, we set a play up, and I just finally got the rebound. I got fouled again. I missed the free throws again. And hopefully the ball luckily came back, and I put it in that time. You know, another senior on this team, Craig Robinson, you guys have been through a lot of wars. He's the guy that got the hand on that missed free throw, kept it alive. He deserves yeah, a lot of credit. He definitely does. The ball came back right to me. We just learned to tap it out and try to get it back. And it came back to me, and I just tried to put it in. And he did a great job today. Ralph, you seem to have a love affair with the state of Virginia, and the fans came out today to really show their appreciation. Well, they were coming out all week, and uh, we appreciate the fans here in the University of Virginia and in Virginia. Ralph, uh, for all the fans out there, I'd like to thank you for staying in college four years. I've enjoyed watching you play. Congratulations on a fine career. Right. Now back to Mike Patrick. Thanks, Jeff Mullins. The final again, Virginia 83, Maryland 81. The ACC basketball telecast has been a presentation of the Raycom Jefferson Production Sports Network. This is Mike Patrick. So long, everyone. <laughs>